What's up guys, this is Soundwave um, Jordan here, I'm back with another video, and this time we're going to be talking about some Halo 5 Guardians. That's right guys, we got some Halo 5 Guardians news, and it's going to be a quick, small article, and at the same time, it's pretty controversial, at least in my opinion. If you guys, as you guys can see, if you read the headline of this article right here, this is pretty, it's, it's pretty alarming to me in my opinion, and it, it makes me wonder what's going to happen, stuff like that. So let's quickly get on with the article, but let me read this headline loud and clear for you guys. <clears throat> Halo 5 won't have bit team battle mode at launch, but Warzone is essentially big team battle on steroids, producer says. Uh, I don't know. Halo 5 Guardians will not have a big team battle mode at launch in October, but that doesn't mean Halo fans won't be able to get to their large scale multiplayer fix right out of the gate. Responding to a fan's concern about Halo 5 not having a big team battle mode, 343 Industries executive producer Josh Holmes reminded fans about the game's Warzone game type. This is 12v12 mode, announced at E3. Features the biggest maps in Halo franchise history. In fact, the maps are four times the size of any previous Halo map. Um, that's that's pretty large, I can't lie. Warzone is the evolution of Big Team Battle on steroids, Holmes said. If Warzone doesn't suit your fancy, after all, it does change things up in a number of significant ways. Holmes also said that 343 Industries plans to add more traditional Big Team mode post-launch. He did not provide a timeline for when Big Team Battle would be released. It's also worth noting that 343 has not yet announced the lineup for, of playlists for Halo 5. In other recent Halo 5 news, 343 has responded to criticism about the games not having a split-screen mode for its campaign or multiplayer. If we could not do it, we would do it. Wait, I read that wrong. <laughs> if we could do it, we would do it. But it is what they call non-trivial. Halo franchise development, development director Frank O'Connor said. Halo 5 will launch with 20 plus maps with 15 plus maps coming to the game as free DLC before June 2016. The Halo 5 release date is set for October 27th exclusively for Xbox One. Now those are some two controversial things that's been talked regarding Halo. First of all, Halo 5 at launch will not have big team battle. Now I know what they're saying with Guardian 343 Industries is um I know what they're saying that they're offering Warzone and that's like big team battle on steroids. However, I just feel that big team battles like it, it's 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 kind of a must because you guys you guys cannot lie and whether you guys agree with me or not, big team battle has always been a Halo classic game mode. And the fact that it's the fact that it's not going to be available at launch, even though they're offering Warzone to us, you know, it's still it, it's a in, in, at least in my honest opinion, it's kind of disappointing because big team battle has always been a halo thing and it's unfortunate that it won't be available at launch and we do not know when it's going to be available that's the thing that's that's really bothering me at least they could say that it could be available in november sometime after sometime after the release like in november or early december something we have no clue on it so you know right now clearly that's not on top of, clearly that's not on top of 343's list and you know it's you know it, it's kind of disappointing at least in my opinion so let me know what you guys think about that please alert me because you know I, I would like to know I would like to know a brain discussion of what you guys think of this regarding Halo 5 not having big team battle at launch also in addition to that we also have um campaign and multiplayer not being split screen as you guys know most Halo games are split screen co-op where you're able to play with your friends however Halo 5 will not be making this jump so just let me know what you guys think of these two controversial topics in Halo 5 development. Um, you know, it's disappointing, at least in my opinion. I'm not saying the games, and that's, that does not prove that the game's going to be bad. However, it's just disappointing that those features won't be available to the users of Halo 5 Guardians. Let me know what you guys think about all of these controversial topics of Halo 5 development in the comment section below. And that's all I re that's all I really have to say regarding Halo. So, if you guys would like to leave a like comment or subscribe if you feel like you enjoy my content and will enjoy any other future things I upload gaming news and currently following halo 5 guardians so hit that subscribe button for all your halo 5 guardians news and stay tuned for more news regarding it because you know i'm pretty hyped for it despite these um disappointing features that, that they've been announcing um other than that thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it you guys you know you guys have been keeping me up uh, yeah, you guys have been supporting me with my videos, and I really appreciate that. I'm close to my one subscribe. I'm close to my 1,000 subscriber mark, and I'm really excited for that for for that as well. So thank you guys for keeping up with my videos; it means a ton to me. And yeah, that's all I had to say, guys. Um, like I said, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, discuss in the comment section below. And yeah, guys, Halo 5 Guardians, and that's all I had to say. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching once again. And yeah, this is Soundwave Jordan here. Peace late.